Digi fans, it's Dom here, back at you like Cleopatra, taking you from zero to digital hero using Adobe Spark. This video is all about putting together your own video book review. Hopefully lots of you are reading furiously. Uh, there's lots of free audio books out there which are pretty cool as well. And I want to teach you how to put together your own video book review using Adobe Spark Video. This is something that you can share with your friends to give them recommendations on books. Maybe just share with your family to tell them what they what tell them what you thought about the book. But either way, this is a really easy and simple way to get your thoughts about a book on video. Now, as always, if you're using a tablet or a phone, uh, download Adobe Spark Video to your device. If you're using a laptop or a desktop, um, just go to spark.adobe.com. Pretty simple, isn't it? Okay then, we're gonna do a video book review on Spark Video. So you've got the three apps here, Spark Page, Spark Post, Spark Video. Just click into Spark Video and we're gonna start a new one by pressing the big plus. Now when you're in here, you can start with photos or use a template. I'm going to say skip to editor because I'm going to show you all the best tips and tricks. So first thing to note is that you've got your kind of scenes at the bottom here. Now two of them at the end, credits and outro, I would leave those two alone. Don't worry about those two. They do things which you don't need to worry about and you can look at again at the end. If I ever want to put in a new scene, all I have to do is press the plus here. Press the plus, got lots of different scenes. If I ever want to rearrange scenes, I can just rearrange them and drop them in and they'll sort of rearrange their numbers themselves. But the best place to start is at the start. And when you do a video book review, I personally split it up into maybe five sections. So first section is gonna be the introduction. I happen to have recorded a video. So I'm gonna to go to my videos and I've got one just here. Now, when you first get in here, you'll see that I've got a whole clip here and it's only given me a few seconds of that clip. But what you can do is you can use these kind of little lollipops either side in order to trim your video to the bits that you want. Right, I'm just going to stop just before then. Uh, hey, Digifans. Perfect. To Digi okay, now you'll see I've stopped it there, just where I said, and you should read it. And I'm just going to trim off the end of the clip there. Press done. I'm going to save my video clip. Now, one of the things you'll see is up here, if you ever want to go back and trim your clip, you just press the scissors there. And also the other important one is this one here. It will, by default, it will put your clip on soft. I want you to turn it to loud because I want to hear myself speaking. Another thing you can do, you can see I've got this picture frame here, which you might have spotted from other videos that I've done. I want to get rid of that. So I'm just going to use my fingers and reposition and sort of, I also zoomed in slightly so that we lost that bit. Hey Digi fans, welcome to Digidom's book reviews. Okay, now one of the things you can do is you can hear that music that's going on. I might put the volume down slightly because I thought it was a little bit loud, but also I might also choose a different one. I like that one. I'm going to use that. Okay, fine. So the music's changed, it's in there. Now you might think, I don't want to put my face on camera. That's fine, no problem at all. Well, I'll, I'll show you how to do this in the second clip. Instead of that introduction, you could do something like, I could go to my photos in here. Uh, I've taken a photo of the front of the book. There we go, there's the front of the book, done. Now, again, you might wanna reposition that slightly. So this is the front of my book. And I could, you know, just as I did in this clip, where I said, hi, and welcome to my book review, and blah, blah, blah. I can go here, and instead of being my face, I can just do a voiceover. Hello, and welcome to Digidom's book reviews. In this video, I'll be reviewing The BFG by Roald Dahl. It's a classic, you should read it. You'll notice that when I did that, I, I pressed and held that button down so that it would keep recording. Another thing that you could do is you could add a little title in here. Now, one of the things you can do is press layout and put it on as a caption, for example. So I'm gonna put Digidom's book review. Okay, might make that slightly bigger. I'm going to press and hold and move it to a different place. Hey, Digi fans. And it's nice the way it animates it. I really like that. You see? Perfect. Now you could do the same on that one if you wanted to as well. I'm going to go on to the next section, which is my synopsis. Uh, I'm going to give this one a title. I might add some text. Uh, and then I'm going to put synopsis. Okay. You can see that I can make text bigger or smaller just by using 
these two buttons here. Okay, now I'm going to record my synopsis as a voiceover. A 10 year old girl called Sophie goes on the adventure of a lifetime when she meets the big friendly giant. Although Sophie is scared at first, the two of them become the best of friends. So um, let me just add in something on this to make it interesting. Now talk about Sophie. I took a picture from the book. Now I've got a little bit more of, of the synopsis to put in. And one of the things I'm going to say is, however, things take a turn for the worse when the other bad giants decide to hunt Sophie down. The two of them get up to all sorts of adventures and even end up meeting the queen. So I'm going to add a photo and the thing I'm going to look for here is Buckingham Palace. Because she's going to go and meet the queen. Yeah, that one's pretty cool. So uh, I'm going to press done there. And now I need to add in another slide because I this credits one. Don't forget, I've said to leave that one alone. So I'm going to add in another slide in there. I'm going to show you now how to put in a split screen. So on this side, I'm going to put some text and I'm going to say um, highlights. Okay, now on this side, I can search for a video, uh, a photo, right, this one. Uh, and that is a picture of Sophie in her bed when the BFG first sees her. And what he's doing there is he's going around and blowing dreams into the ears of sleeping children with his dream blower. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna say that using the record button again. My favorite part of the book is when the BFG visits children and blows dreams into the ears of sleeping children with his dream blower. So I'm gonna add another slide in here and I'm gonna talk about my favorite character. Let me uh, find a photo and I've got this one here, yeah. This one's really cool. Now, because this one is quite a tall photo, what I think I'm gonna do here is go to layout, split screen it, and that just gives me the option to play around with the photo a little bit, get it into the right position so that you can see it all. And then on this side, I will put some text in and I will say my favorite character. My favorite character is of course, the big friendly giant. And my favorite scene with the big friendly giant is when the Queen's footmen make the BFG a cup, knife, fork, spoon, table and chair in the Queen's palace because it's so enormous. Okay, cool. And the last part, last but not least, oh, one of the things I will show you is uh, I'll flip that over. I don't know if you could see, I just pressed the two uh, little arrows at the top there because on this one, I had the text on the right. And then on this one, I want the text on the left. Okay, so I'm gonna finish it all off now and I'm gonna say, okay, I'll show you what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna go to back from my photos, find free photos, and I'm gonna say dream. So I'm gonna use that and I'm gonna use it for my final part of my review, which is, I give this book four dream catchers out of five. It's so beautiful and such a lovely read. I really enjoy the illustrations and I think it's suitable for children around the age of around nine to 11 years old. Enjoy. Okay, and I'm gonna add some text here. I'm gonna say uh, four out of five dream catches. Let's put an S on the end. Okay, done. Uh, I think I'm gonna keep my video intro. If you, if you need to delete a slide, you just press the kind of little arrow bit. Let me show you that again. So every time you're on a slide, you can see it's got a little arrow here. I'm going to delete that slide. Do I really want to? Yes, I do. And then if I want to preview an individual slide, I just press the play button. A 10-year-old girl called Sophie on the slide goes on the itself. friendly giant. Right. And then if I want to preview the whole thing, I press there. Hey, Digi fans, welcome to And Digi I can Dogs see what it's like reviews. from start to finish. Now. Okay. Oh, let me show you how to change the theme. This is cool. So at the moment we're using the title theme. Uh, this mega theme is quite cool, actually. I'm going to make it that kind of green. Cool. Now you'll see that it's kind of changed all of the slides to have a little different theme on them. I really like that. Cool. Now uh, we're all done. I can share it by, I can save it to my camera roll if I want to. I can copy a link 
to the clipboard. Okay, great success. That's been copied to the clipboard. I can send that to anyone. Okay, and I can also send it an email, send it a message, post it to any of the socials and things like that. So I hope you enjoyed that video. Pretty simple, isn't it? Looking forward to seeing your work. Please do share it with me using the hashtag Digidom or find me on the socials using the username above. Uh, and also, uh, what else was I going to say? Oh yeah, if you want these videos, subscribe and then you'll get them as soon as they come out. That's pretty good. Good deal. Okay, see you on the next video, Digifans. Bye-bye. Oh, <laughs>